Hi, I'm Fernando Pereira from UFMG and today we shall talk about operational semantics. That's a change compared to the topics that we have seen thus far, but that's a necessary change. For this class we will pave the way to teach type analysis and knowing a bit of operational semantics is also useful to reason about the static analysis that we had seen in previous classes. In this class, we start talking about induction. We mentioned inductive proofs in previous classes, but now induction will be everywhere. Induction will be also the basis for mechanical proofs, which we will see once we look into 12. When students talk about induction, usually they mean induction on the natural numbers. That's the kind of induction that we learn in the beginner and elementary courses in the undergraduate program. And usually we see two kinds of inductions. The first, which we call ordinary, consists in proving a base case, call it predicate P of zero, and then showing that if P holds for I, then it must also hold for I plus one. And then there is complete induction. The base case is the same, but this time we show that if P holds for every number less than N, then it must also hold for N. For instance, imagine that we want to prove that after pushing the first domino of a series, all of them will fall. We can number the dominoes. Let's call the first the domino zero, and let the predicate be the nth domino will fall. So if we show that the predicate is true for domino zero, and if we show that it being true for domino k implies it being true for domino k plus one, then every domino will fall. As an example, let's demonstrate this equality. For any natural n greater than zero, the sum of nth powers of two equals 2 raised to n plus 1 minus 2. Before I show how the proof goes, would you like to try it out? You can think about the base case, for instance. For the base case, we show that the statement works for the smallest n that can be used in the statement of the theorem. This smallest n is 1. So, the sum of powers gives us only 2 to 1, which is to itself. Then the expression 2 to n plus 1 minus 2 also gives us 2. Then the equality holds in the base case. Now, would you like to try to demonstrate the rest of the theorem? How can you extrapolate from the inductive step? So, we assume by induction that the theorem is true for some k. Then we have this equality here, right here. What happens if we let n equal to k plus 1? Well, we have this expression, the powers of 2 up to k added to the k plus 1 if power. Can you follow from here? Can you, how can you use the induction step at this point? Well, we can replace part of the expression that we have for k plus 1 with the expression that we have for k right here. This replacement is true due to the induction hypothesis and then the proof falls by algebraic manipulations. And with that I gave you a quick reminder of simple induction on ordinary numbers. In the next class, we shall start talking about structural induction. So there, you feel free to write with questions and comments.